Hi, Nick Holder from Noria here, and I've got Cole Ratliff from Shell with me. And we're going to talk about a common question we hear at Noria quite a bit, which is what is the difference between PAGs and phosphate esters? And you know a few things about that, Cole. Yeah, absolutely. It starts with the hydrolytic stability. Because of that, you don't need the expensive acid removal filtration uh, that phosphate esters need. It's actually the EcoSafe is the only EHC fluid that can pass the ASTM TOS test. Mm -hmm. And because of these attributes, they don't create varnish and the total cost of ownership is much lower. Sure. And I mean, we should always be thinking total life cycle costs and, you know, that wider impact of, of what chemicals or what lubricants we're choosing to use. Um, and I think a lot more companies are thinking EHS, you know, what is, the, what is the difference with environment, health and safety when it comes to PAGs and phosphate esters? Uh, well, with the PAGs, uh, they are readily biodegradable, meaning they're much more user friendly. Uh, in the situation that either could burn, uh, the EcoSafe EHC does not give off the, uh, the deadly gas that uh, phosphate ester does, sure. um, making that obviously a lot more user friendly, but it still has the same factory mutual global uh, fire resistant status. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, and you know, that just shows why it is so important to think broadly about these things, not just, you know, what are the specific technical specifications, but how does it impact the larger business, the people, and everything. So, thanks again, Cole. Yeah, thank you.